thank you for calling Loves and Hugs in Colorado. My name is Kristen. How may I direct your call? Hey, Kristen. Um, I had a, a question. I'm coming down. What? Um, I'm coming down there. What sort of stuff do you have for like couples? I'm sorry. What do you have for like couples? Like, um, I'm bringing a date, and we're going. We're going there. To your um to the. To the trucks, the, the, tra- the, the travel stop. Yeah, the loves. I thought that'd be a good place because like it's got love in the name and stuff, and it's a first date. So I thought we should go there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't really know what I mean. Like, you know how exactly sometimes like, like couples will do stuff together, or there'll be something special for them. You know. Mm-hmm. What do you guys have like that? Just like what would be good for for a have, date? I don't think we have anything like that. What do you mean? You have like roses or long stem strawberries or anything? What's the lighting? No. What's the lighting situation? Like, well, how's the lighting in there? In in the store, it's pretty bright. Oh, is there like a, an area? I'm sorry. Is there an area inside there? Uh, no. Like an area for a date. No, I mean that we have like a subway and a Carl's Jr. Can we start over? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be coming down there, and I have got a first date that I'm going to be bringing there because it's called Loves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, we don't have to start over again, but, you know, so just to go from there. I, I just don't really know that we really have anything quite what you're looking for, I guess. No, I said my part. You have to say your part again because we had to start over for like two or three various different reasons. You know how sometimes in life when you just have to start over because something went wrong, you know? Yeah, but why would you so, want so just to... if you could just say your part, all the things that you had said at the beginning, if you could just say those one more time for me about my date, like, like what the lighting is and what sort of if you have an area and the answers to all those questions. So we just have, to just to run through it again real quick for anyone who may have missed it for whatever reason. It, it's just you and I, though. Anyone else might have missed it. I don't know what you mean. Anyone else who might have missed it just at the beginning, the first time, if you could just run through it again for their benefit, I think they would appreciate it. And I mean, it's I don't want to place any blame on what ha- had happened, but it was my fault. On I'm. Your fault for what? I'm so what, sorry. From what had understand. from what had happened initially, and no one had heard you. No one had heard you, but now they now they can now they can now they're listening. Who else is listening? Everyone. I'm sorry. Everybody is. That's I don't just, know who everybody that's just is. And ma'am, in this day and age, ever since September 11th, you know, see something, say something. So everyone's listening just to make sure and just to be safe. But at first they couldn't hear, and now they can. Okay, I I don't really know what else. Well, okay, mean. all right. Now listen, I'm gonna level with you, okay? I had a couple of dials turned the wrong way, and one of the mute buttons was pushed, okay? I I I'm sorry. I don't like to, but that's exactly what it was, and it it I fixed it. So if you could just say your part again, I'd really appreciate it, because I already said most of my part again. And if you could just say your part again, then they'll fix it in post. Okay, I'm sorry. Can I place you on a brief hold? No, you may not. I'll flip out. I'm li- I'm liable I'm so to break sorry. this. I'll break this chair over here, and I'm not trying to do that. I really like this chair. I don't want to break it. Well, you don't need to break your chair. Uh, if you have a customer, I can just talk to them while you're checking them out. That's fine. I don't mind. Well, I don't know that they would like to talk to you. Well, I'd give them a chance, though. They never met me. Oh, is it Doug? Is it Doug? No. I know Doug. Did you need to speak with Doug? Is he there? I'm not sure I could inquire. Please put Doug on the phone immediately. Okay. Give me a moment, please. Thank you. Can I let him know who's calling? No. Okay. This is Rooney. How may I help you? Why are you different? Huh? Why are you different? What do you mean, why am I different? You're not the same at all. You're completely different. I need that woman to go back over the whole thing for a third time. After all, it turns out that the problem was not corrected, and I need her to run through her side just one more time, real quick. Oh, you need to talk to Kirsten again? I think so. Why did she give you the phone, though? Do you know what her part was? So she, you, If you want to say her part, do you want to, do you want to try it? Ma'am, this is off the rails. This is entirely off the rails, like completely at this point. We are completely off the rails at this point. Okay. 
the fourth wall has been broken, and I don't think anyone cares. Okay. So I had called at the beginning. I had called at the beginning of this call. I had called to say that I have a date that I'm bringing down there for my first date with her. Her name's Alexis, and she's very pretty. And we're going to have our first date at Love's because it has love in the name. And then I was wondering what sort of activities and, and things you offer for couples. And okay. You can, you can do her part now. You can say her part now. So no one had heard it. That That's the problem is, is that six, eight, eight, eight of eight. Six, eight of them couldn't hear it first. First, none of them could. And then 40 of them could, but six of them still couldn't until just now. And that's why we have to run through it one more time for the benefit of the six. Because everyone's always listening, you know. Right. And like I said, at this point, we are completely off the rails and the fourth wall has been broken. Okay. So if we could just run through her side again real quick and then they'll fix it in post-production. Okay, well, hold on one second. Thank you. Hi, this is Kirsten. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. It turned out that I had turned the wrong knob, and now this time the knobs are all turned good, and now the six, the six are with the 40, and all are one again together, and when George W. Bush takes his rightful seat as the president, everything will be good again. And so if you could just run through your part, that would be wonderful. I'm sorry, what part are you referring to? Though? Well, because of what we had done um, like eight minutes ago when I had called you for the first time, and we had spoke to, to make friends for the first time. So I had asked how I may direct your call. Is that what you? Yeah, just do your whole part. Do your whole part over again, and we'll fix it. We'll fix it. We have wizards. We got some wizards down in the editing and the post production, and they'll still they'll get it done. They I use like Adobe Photoshop or or I don't know what, but they twist it all around and they get it all worked out. Okay. So hi, thank you for calling Loves. In Hudson, Colorado, my name is Kirsten. How may I direct your call? Hey, how are you doing? Um, I'm going to be coming down there later today and tonight, this evening. And I have my first date with Alexis is going to be there. And I was wondering, what like, what sort of things do you sell that are for, like, a couple's or what kind of activities? Oh, and do you have an area? So we have a Subway and a Carl's Jr. that you can eat at. Um, I don't necessarily know that we have anything else for couples. Um, we have some keychains and oh, keychains! Couples love keychains. That's like perfect. That. That's beautiful. Couples love keychains. You didn't mention that the first time. I'm so sorry. My apologies. Maybe, maybe that's why we had to go back and do it all over again to discover the keychains. I just wasn't quite sure what you. Um, we're looking for the first time. I'm sorry. Well, no, it's just we had to do it over. It, it wasn't even that good, but we had to do it over just for the sake of the people, you know, That's everyone fine. listening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um. Did you find uh, Doug? Hold on. Uh, no, I did not. Zero, he, zero. He's not in. Doug's not in. Okay. All right. Well. No, he's not. When you find him. Would you let him know that I don't want to talk to him at all? I don't want to see him or talk to him. Okay. Thank you. No problem. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great day. Did you hang up? Thank you for calling Love to Lamar. How can I help you? Yeah, I had a question. Um, I'm going to be coming down there later this evening. What time do you close? Uh, we don't. Oh, that is excellent. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Um, I'm coming down. I uh, met – it's from my neighbor. He had like a cousin who had like a best friend or something. Her name is Alexis, and we're going to be coming down there for our first date. Okay. Um, what sort of stuff do you have that's good for couples down there? Oh, not much, man. Like what? Um, uh we have a movie theater. I don't even know if they're open all the time. Is kissing allowed in there? Yeah, hold on one second for me. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Are we allowed to do kissing? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. 
Yeah, I have no idea. I just moved to this town probably a year ago, and okay. I've been working so much that I haven't I haven't really gone to play. What about more like over on the gas side of town, like there with the gas pumps and stations and stuff? What's what? What's coupley over there? Like, what's it like? Uh, there's a couple bars in town. Um, oh no, I mean sure at, at the Loves, at the Loves. At the Loves, uh, yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. much, man. We're but we're really tiny trucks up. You have a movie theater there, though. Uh, not at the Loves, but in. Oh, town. then why then why are you telling me about in town? No, I want to go. Listen, okay. Do you know the name of your place is called Loves? And that's what I'm hoping will happen with this girl. So I thought it would be like a good idea to come there for our first date. Uh, yeah, but there's there's nowhere to sit here. We don't we don't allow dine in. That's okay. We can stand. Um, yeah, there's nothing much here, man, to be honest with you. We got three diesel pumps. We got gas pumps. And, oh, that's good. That's, and that's good for couples? Couples pumping? No, no, no. This is like Can gas. we do couples? Yeah, I know. No, I know. Yeah, but if we bring the... If the car is low on gas, can we do couples pumping? Sure. Like double up on it? I guess. Well, I don't know if it's safe or not. I'm not a technician. I mean, you really, you all you do is put the nozzle into the tank and clip it to it. For couples, and, cu- like couples style, uh, though, like where you're, you know, how to do it together. As I as mean, two, if if, as if two, pumping fuel together is your thing, sure. As two become one, you know, as you fill the gas tank up. Yeah, sure. And then as long as I keep them inside, you know, those little plastic balls. Um, can I bring my hamster? So I want to show her I have a sensitive side. I have a pet. If that's your thing. I can bring him down there? Sure. I won't thing. take him out of the ball, so it doesn't count as bringing him inside, because he's really just inside of a hamster's ball. Sure. It's all about the hamster ball, sir. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for calling Loves 226. This is Colin speaking. How may I help you? Colin, I'm hoping it would be okay if I was able to come and trim uh, some of the like bushes and stuff out, out outside. Uh, say again. Just so I can take some of the clippings. Um, just one moment. Hi, how are you? Wait, no. Sir, how can I help you? Hi. Yeah. Um, I was I was hoping it would be okay if I could trim some of the. Like bushes in that, like just so I can take some of the clippings. Let me double check with the management, but um, give me just one second. Well, I mean, I, are they there? I mean, what's um, what's happening? Yeah, just give me one second. I'll just double check with her real quick, and I'll we'll be good. Oh, where where is she? Is she not? Hello? She's she's almost right beside me. I'll get her right here in a minute. Oh, I okay. I understand. See, I didn't understand. Yeah, just one second. Wait. Do what? Sir? Hello? She said Hi. we can't do that. What do you what what do you mean? Cuz we do our own trimmings and everything over here, so we're not allowed to have other people oh, come on no. our property and do those. Just I just took a long a little bit just so I can take some of the trimmings. Just so I can take some of the trimmings. From the bush. Hello? Hot. Uh, I'm still here. Hello? Hi, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, oh, is that not you? Oh, no, I, who's that now? I thought they're on the phone. Yeah, I can't have you come to the property and trim off some of the trimmings. What? Why? Just... Because you know, it's, our pri- just a, it's our private property and we have the only, we're, we do it ourselves over here. We can't have anybody else come and do uh, well, some of the trimmings just to take some of the trimmings off. We can't. They would they would look better. I mean, just a little trim. And then I could take, I just want some of the trimmings. I could just do one, just like, like on the side. Just, you know, just a couple if they're a little bit long. John, this guy's not understanding just, that he cannot just trim a, the tree. Just like when they're st- and it's sticking out, like really long. Hold on one second. What? What's what's going on? Who's that? Who's that making all that noise? Hello? Hello? Oh? 
I don't think they're going to let me do it. I'm just, just saying. I, I don't think they're going to. Speedway, this is Raven. Hey, Raven. Um, what kind of ports do you guys have down there? Like USB ports or what? Do we have any what? I'm sorry. What kind of ports? Like USB? Do you have USB ports probably? Oh, yeah, we have, yes, we have USB ports. Not, not like the cables or nothing. I just mean like what you guys have down there. Yeah, like the charging. We have like no, the no, 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 the not wall. the charging ones. No, what do you guys got? Like, what do you guys use down there? What kind of ports you guys got? Um, like that we sell. No. For use. I don't know if his name's asking, but I'm done talking to him. That's Michelle. May I help you? She's a little bit rude, huh? Is it close to the end of her shift or like something like I that? Can't. Hang on a second, honey. I can't hear you. That machine is right in my eardrum. Go ahead, oh babe. Oh, God. I said, what's her problem? She has an attitude. I'm sorry, honey. What can I do for you, dear? I was just wondering what kind of ports you guys have. Like USB ports or like what? Like a serial port? What? What do you got? What do you hook do, up with? Do, do, to hook up with what? What to do you mean? To, to buy ho- one? To plug? No, 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 no. See, that's what she was telling me. And that's why she was done with me or whatever. Whatever rude shit she was saying like that. Um, okay, what, not what am a I charging, plugging in, babe? Not just anything. To plug it in there. Like, what kind of a port do you guys have? have to, just to plug it. To plug it in. For our personal use? For any of it. Any of it down there. We just have socket. Plug in like socket? Like a USB? Like a USB port? Like for when you plug in your computer? We have USB ports on our Good. computers. Nice. What do you guys put in there? A USB cord. And then And then what? Um, I don't know. Usually Ma'am, I'm just we trying to find our... out, okay? I'm just trying to find out. Don't give me a hard time. Okay, honey, I'm not giving you a hard time, honey. I'm trying to talk to you as nice as I possibly can. Okay. First off, we don't use our USB ports for anything here. Okay. If we charge our phones, we don't... There's well, there's no use for us to use our USB ports. Okay. Ma'am, I don't have a choice in this matter, okay? We have to figure it out, and you got to get this nailed down as to which ports you guys have and use and why and where and when. Where are you from? Are you from the company, or...? No. No, I'm not from any company. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry? Do I sound like I'm with the company? How may I help you? Hi, yeah, do you guys have the truck stop gas there? What is truck stop gas? Well, like the kind of they have that you know the truck stops and that, like instead of like, the regular gasoline. No, we do not. This no. That the only place that would probably have that would be Delville. What? Delville and Pendleton. Their truck stops. Oh no, I don't, I'm not trying to go to a truck stop. I'm just wondering yeah, if no, you had any. Carry reg- we carry regular fuel. Just regular gas. Yes. Anything no. else you can look up the app and it'll show you what we have. But I just want, you know, gas, just, the, you know, the truck stop gas. You don't have, like, an yeah, additive have, or something? No, I don't. Like, um, like the STP? I, I, sir, I'm going to have to put you on hold for a few minutes here. What? No, Sorry the STP. That. STP. I, I, I should have is an that, STP is that, here, Do yeah. I put that? Well, isn't I that the same you, thing? I, I'm going to have to put you no, on hold. I'm it, sorry. The truck, why? No, the truck stop gas. Breaking yeah. memo, I'm sorry, can I help you? Hey, we got a problem. Hello? Hey, we got a problem. Uh, what's the problem? Okay, I had come through on the drive through and I got the Whopper meal and everything. And while I was waiting, like, my, do you know the check engine light on the dashboard? Mm-hmm. Okay, that shit came on. And I thought, whatever, you know, sometimes it pops on, you turn off the car, and it's good to go, you know? Um, I got home with my order. I ate the food. I went back out to the car because I forgot to get cigarettes. So I'm about to go up to the gas station. I turn on the car, and the fucking engine light is still on. So, what? Uh, what kind of like? What? What do you guys got for like an insurance policy or something? For the what? For an insurance. Exchange. Yeah, cause my that engine light shit happened while I was down there. So it's your guys' fault. So I'm gonna have to take it down to the mechanic and clear the codes out or whatever, whatever they do. What, but what happened? My engine light on my dashboard. You it bro- came you on. Broke anything on your car? Yeah, my car got weird. 
And when so you when you, you start it, but now when you start it, now it goes. So you're telling me the dashboard outside has a problem? You said okay. Listen, earlier I asked you if you knew about the check engine light on the dashboard, and you said yes. And now I'm starting to think that you lied to me. Lie about what? About knowing what the check engine light is. Do you know what the check engine light is? I know the dashboard outside. Yeah, that's, that's what happened in my car. That's what happened. Yes, it came on, and it's your fucking fault. And I want you guys to pay up for my mechanic. Okay, but can you come to the Burger King so we can talk about it? Cause I'm no, I don't want to talk about it. I'll come down there if you're going to write me a check. Otherwise, you can talk to my fucking lawyer. No, okay, sorry. Can you come down because... I'm not a manager and I'm not a boss. So I don't care. I will. Here, you're involved. Okay, you can, okay, I don't care. Down. You're involved. You I will sue here, you. you. I will you take you to court. I will sue you. And try to fix the problem. It's okay. I will the sue. The will not fix anything. The shit out of that? you. I will sue the shit out of you. I'll take all your money in your car and stuff. Uh, you think I'm scared? Yes, you scared. should be. I will uh, sue. Why, why would that be scary if I didn't do anything? So oh, you did it, though. You did it. It is your fault. So I bet you were on the goddamn problem. window. I bet you were on the goddamn window when my fucking check engine light came on. It's probably your fucking, your doings. What? Why Why did you do this? Why did you do it? Did what? I didn't Why did anything. you make the light come on? I just want to know why. Make what come out? My check engine light. Sir. I never did anything to you, okay? I know I, I never called did you. Anything to you. What are you well, talking about? I know I've called you like a bitch in a cunt behind your back and stuff, but I've never done anything to your face. You have no Sir, reason to have a problem with me. What are you talking about? If there's any problem, you can come to Burger You King made my head. check engine light, my fucking check engine light. I'm down there getting the whopper, and now my goddamn car's all messed up. It goes. Tick, 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 tick. I don't got money to pay for this shit. Yeah, it happened in the drive-thru. It's your goddamn fault. So that's, so that's not my problem. That's Burger King problem. So if there's anything No, wrong, it's your fault. You You're in go. charge. You're the manager. I'm going to sue the shit out of you. Sir, do whatever you think is the best for you, okay? I'm going to sue your dick off. All right. Do whatever you think is the best for you. I'm going to eat your ass. That's it? That's it? Anything else? Any other problem to, to talk about it? Um, The French fries were really good. Thank you. No problem, sir. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Good night. My Caroline and Sweet, how may I help you? Hi, I'm trying to get a room arranged uh, for like a coughing room. Just Hello? to rent it out for... Yeah, I just want to rent it out for... Do I have to get the whole night? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, I just, well, just, how, how do I, how, how many, I mean, no one's going to sleep there. It's just, we're going to go in there just for, like, when we have to do coughing. Coughing? Like, you know, <laughs> coughing, sir? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, just to, just to do, you know, when you cough, like when you, a congestion on your on your chest and you got to, you know. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I got you. We have uh, the restroom, you can <clears throat> use that. That's fine. Oh, no, we oh, want, like, wanna... an isolated room. Oh, room. Uh, so I can give you the half price. Okay, yeah, just for, like, coughing. Just to go in there okay, when we have uh, to do, you know, just just when we're yeah, doing right, that. right. And then back yeah. out again. Okay, I can give you the half price. That's a $40. $40? $40? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll come. Okay, we'll come down there. We'll make arrangements. I love you. Oh, okay. All right. I love you. You can say it back if you want, you know. Otherwise, it's weird. Yeah, it is weird. So I love you. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's not weird just, like, to love another per like, to, like another human. We're all, uh, you know, we're all, just, we're all just people. Yeah, right, but uh, I'm straight, you know, that's why. I'm oh, no, person. it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. Uh, I love my okay. friends. Don't oh, you love okay. your friends? Do you love I your do. friends? Okay, so there you go. I love you. Mm hmm All right. You're my friend. I consider you I consider you my friend. Mm-hmm. That's why I love you. Okay, I'll see you later, sir. Mm hmm What? No, you can say it you know, it's fine. I accept your love. I don't want to say I'm straight, sir. I'm sorry if it's uh What? Oh no, it's not like that. 
No, no, get your... No, it's not like that at all. You're my friend. It's okay. It's, you're my friend. I, I have one customer. I, um, I have to go to go. Bye. Do you, do you love your customers? Microtel is Amanda. Hey, I had a question. Um, are you familiar with the landscaping that you guys have out in front there? Uh, no. What kind of bush is that? Uh... You would have to call and talk to the main. Well, I, okay. The thing is, is that I want one for myself in a couple of years here. Um, is there a way, if I come out, can I take a clipping of that to clone it? Do you guys mind? Uh, I don't know. I, I just need that. a little clipping, and then I'll, I'll put it onto a, like, I'll graft it onto a starter. I'll graft yeah. it onto the starter. And then from there, I'll be able to um, grow a whole other bush, and then we can clone that yeah. to make as many as I need. Um. That would be something that you probably need to call. Well, I just need a small clipping. I really don't think I want to bother anyone else about this. I just didn't want you thinking that I'm coming down there trying to steal your bush or nothing. I'm going to clone yeah. it. You guys get to keep your bush, and I get one too. And really, you're not out anything. Okay. Um, so I have your permission wait. to clone? I'll just act like I didn't say anything. So I, okay, all right. And then do you want – because once I start it up and I have it going down in the in the nursery, would you like one of them? Would you like one of the bushes? Maybe for so. your house. Maybe for your house. Do you have like a little walkway or something? You can put it up hmm. next to the walkway or like a um. No, to, but that ran. I ran an apartment. So that's okay. Not. That's fine. You can I'll leave it in a little Thank pot you, or though. something and put it up on the um on a windowsill. Uh, feed no, it. I feed, you could feed it like water and stuff. Um. No, I think I'll pass. I'll put googly eyes on it. <laughs> There, see, you like that one. That's what we'll do. Okay, I'll come down, I'll cut the bush, I'll make a clone of it, I'll bring the clone down, and I'll give it to your boss and say that it's because you were so nice in letting me clone the bush. Um, that, so the housekeepers are here. Let me, what room are you, are you in a room? Oh, no, I'm just a man from the street. Oh, okay. Um, let me talk, let me get your phone number, and I will ask her, because she'll be up here in a little bit, and... I don't know. This is a pay phone. I don't know if it takes incoming calls. Oh, okay. Because the housekeepers are outside walking around, so they would probably come and stop you anyway. Oh, are they Are they strong? I'm not a very good fighter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get in anything physical. I'd drop with a punch. A single punch to the jaw, I'd drop. Yeah. Would they hit me, do you think? I doubt it. <laughs> Even if I wouldn't stop trimming? Just a random man from the street trimming a bush like that? Yeah. They're liable to hit me, ma'am. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm kind of busy right now, though. Thank you. Microtone and Sweets, just picking. Can I help you? Hi, I need to get like a room for do, uh, doing some business business stuff. I'm sorry? I, I just need to get a room, like to do some business, some business stuff. Okay, and what type of room some, is it um, you're looking for? Because I only got a couple rooms left, and I'm sold out for the evening. It's not. It's. Not, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, because I just need to get some people in there since the office is closed. Uh, they has, I got some times for them to come and meet me at a location. Uh, I have to. I have to let them go. I have to, you know, fire them. Okay. The cheapest room I got is a room with one queen size bed, and that's one nineteen ninety nine plus tax. Then I've got no. one room left with two beds. That's one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine plus tax. What type of like security deposit or something? Is there anything like that for like well, what damages do you mean by that, or? Sir? Huh? What do you? Oh no! Just so I know, you know if I, we owe anything or how how is this going to work? I don't I don't anticipate any problems, but I am firing 13 people. Well, sir, I don't think this is going to be the place to do that at. This is a this is a business. I mean, if there if there's any well, damage done, oh, yeah, they're going to yeah yeah if there's any it's damage business. done, they're going to they're going to charge you over it. Yes, yes, or anything how, like that. What do you? Yes. No, how do you mean though? Because like if we don't like once we pay. I mean, that's it. Then I mean, there's, you know, I don't, I don't understand saying, what you're saying. Say, say, say if I rent you a room, okay, 
And uh-huh. then after you leave and there's damages done to the room, they're going to charge you for the damages that are done to the room or anything like that. Well, I mean, I didn't, like, it's I, not me. Like, you know, they're just unhappy they got let go. Like, I, it's pretty understandable. I mean, I, I don't see, like, I, I don't anticipate, you know, they don't seem like very, very violent people, but... I mean, you know, it's bound to happen if you have, like, a, a well, bunch sir, of people and you're letting them all go. With we're having, I'm going to have to decline running a, running a room to anybody like that because I cannot say, okay, I cannot put myself in a situation saying, okay, there may be I don't, some violent. I don't understand violence, the you know, hostile like tone that. here because I'm asking just for, like, what's the, you know, the security deposit? That's a pretty... Normal thing to I mean, we don't we don't do security deposits. We to we're strictly credit. We put it onto a credit card. If there's any damages done or anything like that, or somebody smokes in a room, or if somebody you know steals anything, or if there's damages done, or if they you know, do any like if they yeah, they're going to charge the like credit kicking, card for the damages. Like yes. like. Like if they did a bunch of kicking or something, like oh, if yes, they kicked yes, the wall sir. before and they I'm, left. I'm just gonna have to tell you, no, I'm not gonna follow through with this because I don't think well, that. What, what if they just started punching the wall? Like sir, when they got, that, if they got really mad and they punched then, the wall. Then I'm gonna have them put in jail. Is what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna call the law and have them put in jail. But I'm not gonna put myself. I don't in think that that's situation. a crime, though. I don't yes, think that's it is, a real, sir. It's, damage damage in the property of a motel. That's a crime. That's a crime. Well, yes. No, I mean, like that's not. They didn't steal anything. It's just like um, you know, like it's like saying like smoking is a crime. I don't, I don't yeah. see the, you know, like you just you have to pay the damages or whatever. But I mean, you don't go to jail because you punch a wall. Oh, yes, it doesn't yes. make any if sense. Somebody damage it. That's just private property, sir. It's private property. You said it's if somebody business. wants to walk it's into your property. house and they punch the hole in your wall for no apparent reason or if they were angry. Then yes, you can file charges against them for damage and that. So, but but yeah. it's not illegal though. Like it's just not. I mean, it's just you wouldn't do it normally because I wouldn't go to a house. I mean, because I don't like we're not allowed to have people at the house like that. These are like this is business yeah. business yeah. people for a business location. You said this is a but business, I, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to say no, said, sir. I cannot no. do this. Well, yes. just give me like a just security deposit. Like, how much damage could they possibly do? A lot, a lot, sir. Anybody well, they, can do I any mean, amount of damage. That so, the conversation's over with, sir. Okay. Well, they could. And like, I what if they like, broke the mirror? Well, then, then they're going to pay for the mirror, and that. So, how about like if they, they smashed like a like a lamp or something? Would that? Then, then they're going to pay. Just, they're going to pay for the damages well, that are done. Yes. That's not really the room. It's just a like lamp in the room. Like, you could easily put another lamp there. Sir, we're, like we're could, not going to yeah, we're not gonna go any farther in this conversation, okay? What if and, I hey, – hear me out. Hear me out. What if I put decoy lamps? Like, just like what? fake lamps and like, – No, sir, we're I, not I just, doing this. We're not doing this, and the conversation's over with. Thank you. I know if I brought my own lamps. <laughs> Thank you for calling the front desk at the Source Hotel. This is Caitlin. How may I assist you? Hey, how you doing? This is Jerry. I'm the manager of the Shell Station up the way. Um, you guys got rooms available? Uh, yes, we do. Okay. Um, our bathroom is like it went down hard, and we're not going to be able to get a plumber out here for like a couple of days. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Billy down there, and he's going to rent out a room, and then we're just going to be given the uh, he has a key card. Is that correct? I'm sorry. It's a key card for to get into the rooms. Yes. Okay, we'll just give that to any of the customers that need to use the restroom. Okay. I'm just letting you know that you're going to see uh, whatever whatever room he ends up renting. There's going to be a lot of different people going in and out there, but we're not doing anything shady. We're just going to okay. be using it as a bathroom until we get ours fixed. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh, bye. I love you, bye. Natural Grosses and Rhino, how may director call? Uh, who would be in charge of like you know like the um the, the landscaping out front? Um, sorry, who would be in charge like, of what up front? Of like the uh, you know any of the like bushes and tree anything growing outside the store. Um, I don't know if we have any like type of landscape or anything like that. I've never who, seen one like, here. Like who's 
Who's maintaining it? I I have no idea. That's something that you might that I would have to ask corporate about because I have no idea. Does, like I said, I've well, never seen anyone here before. So I have taken some of the trimmings from the from some of the you know the things growing here. Um, I'm trying to figure out what what they're made out of. Okay. Like I'm, there's, um, so I've taken like I took a trimming. I trimmed some of them. I took the, okay, the clippings. Me, I'm going to go ahead and give you to my manager. Thank you. They're not, it's not working. <laughs> Thank you for holding. This is Dylan. How can I help you? Dylan, uh, hopefully, like, she transferred me to you because you might know what's going on with, like, all the, like, the stuff that's growing outside the building. Like, the bush trees and stuff type things. Okay. The, like the landscaping? Sure. What, what's going on? Well, I'm trying to figure out all what's in there because I took a bunch of the trimmings. I came and I, I trimmed a little bit like how I was taking it home. I'm trying to figure out all what's in there. I, I'm, I'm not understanding your question, I guess. Well, I mixed them all together and I'm trying to figure out like which one was what. And like, you know, make sure everything, if this is going to work or like what. Like what? What's who's in charge of like your landscaping? I guess then who would know what those things are? I have no idea. Who? Um, who I'm does not even it? sure. I think it's a property manager of some kind, but I'm not sure who what that is. Mean, in front of your, in front of your, you know, your, your storefront there. No, I understand. I understand where you're talking about. I, I guess what I'm saying is that I'm not sure. I'm not I sure figured it was being all natural because you get you pushed all the natural foods. I get the foods from inside, but this is extra to, to go with it because it's like fresh grown. Like I'm at the grocery store, like you know. Yeah, and it's like the trees and stuff that are outside. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I took some of the clippings. I took, you know, I had a like a clipper, a snipper. And I was, yeah, we can't I, have you clipping the trees outside. I just, no, I mean a little bit. No, I understand, but we, we can't have you trimming the trees outside without permission. What do you mean? I, I, bought, I bought things from inside. I'm a customer. No, I, I can appreciate that. Uh, what I mean, though, is that the landscaping is taken care of by a third-party company, and I... I, I'm well, yeah, that's pretty getting sure back to that, that we can't getting be like taking. That now. Oh no, this is just a, like I'm taking some samples and just these are clippings. I have no idea some what they are though. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like we need to find out what these things are. Are you with the landscaping company? No, I just did my shopping. Uh, then I, to be honest, I'm not sure what they are, and and I'm not really sure who to contact. I took it's called I think they call them a shears or a hedge like a hedge clipper like with the big like a giant looking scissors thing and I did like with that like all along you know I just kind of like one of the things that kind of took a layer and I, I had a bag and I put it in the bag and I oh I did I did a little here I did a little here and I mixed it all together now I don't know what I got now I'm uh, to be honest I'm not sure how to help you. Because I'm not sure I, I who can't, to contact I can't even begin. What. I can't even begin to sort all this out. I put it all in one bag. I wasn't really... I was just trying to hurry up, you know? I wasn't trying to spend a lot of time. I was just putting it all together. Just bagging it up. Just bagging it up. Taking the trimmings. Clipping it off. Bagging it up. Bringing it home. I, I understand, but what I... What I'm trying to say is that, for, first of all, I'm not really sure what varieties of trees or other plants we have out there. No, no, that, no, secondly, we I'm can't. asking you, yeah. At that's What's all in there? I have no idea. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I have no idea what Why? the varieties are, but secondly, like, I... Who does the you landscaping? Know, we can't have, we can't have Who's people... Who's the landscaper? Who's doing this landscaping? I want to... Somebody's got to know what these things are. Uh, I could find out for you. Who? I'm not sure. I'd have to look into it. Who are you going to ask? I'm going to ask my regional manager. 
How, they're not going to know. Well, what I'm it's saying in front is that they of your may know store, who the though. landscaping. I I understand, but he may know who the company is. I don't. What do you mean the company? The landscaping company. Well, aren't you? I thought you guys like you know it's like the natural. Don't your employees take care of? I, I figured that you stock the store. No, we don't you, take care of it. It's well, a, it's a come, separate me, company that does it. I could come for another round. To get, if I come down there and I could show you what I'm trimming, maybe you can explain. We we can't have Dylan, you trimming the landscaping. The, we can't have you trimming what, the no, landscaping. Just the trimming. I, I I know, but we can't have you doing that without I without take, prior I take the approval. trimmings. It's not like it's not like I take you know like I, I like just try to leave the big mess. I sweep it up and I take I take it. I take I, it home. I, I understand, but I I don't know how to answer your question right now. It's something I'd have to research. I'd make a soup. Well, okay. I just. I don't know. I think I'm feel like it's just not okay. Well, okay, you know, <sighs> sir, could you please try to be more specific? Um, I can look in to see what it is and what, and and get back to you with an answer. Specifically with what though? I mean, I don't think. Are you gonna find out what these things are made out of, or like just give me the company name? What am I getting? Uh, it'll depend on what informa information I'm able to get. I think I'd just feel more comfortable if I came down there and did some trimmings with you. I, uh, If you come down, you can definitely let me know, and w we can talk about it in person. That might be a little easier. Okay. Then I'm going to come. I will bring, I'm going to bring my shoes. I'm going to bring them. I'm going to get the truck. I have some bags. I get there. I'll give you a call. I, I I'll can't pick have one you out. trimming the landscaping, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. It'll be fine. You'll I. See. I It'll be. No, it looks. It looks good. I'm. I'm really good at I it. I understand, but we we can't have you just doing it without permission. Oh no, you're going to be out there. Like you can watch. I, I. I can't have you coming by to trim it, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Huh? No, it's it's no trouble at all, really. I don't mind. No, no. What I'm saying is that it's something that we would need prior approval for, and so I can't have you doing it, even today. Oh, is the manager gonna come or something? I thought you're the manager. Aren't you the I manager? I am one of the. Ma I am one of the managers. Yes. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah, just yeah. What? Well, no. Yeah, I would I'll... need permission, and I would need to figure out what our process is for that. I. I, I can't have you trimming them without... You're the man. Oh, come on. You're the manager. I, I, that's what I'm saying, is that I can't have you do that. I'll tell you what. I'll make it... It's going to be okay. I'll come down and I'll show you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I love you, too. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. I love you, too. Thank you for calling Albertsons. This is Ty. How may I direct your call? Hey, Ty. Um, who is in charge of, like, the that bush thing, tree thing, bush out front? Uh, that is going to be floral. Would you no, like no, 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 not for sale. The part of the landscaping out there. Oh, um, I would assume it was us. Okay, all that I'm looking to do, I really, really like it, and every time I come down there, I spend five or ten minutes sitting in the car just looking at it before I get out. Um, I've been getting into some, some botany stuff lately, and I would like, is it okay if I come down and take a trimming of some of the bushes out there, and just to just to clone it, to make my own bush for my own house? Um, I would have to send you to our grocery well, I, man. I, I, I don't want to be a trouble. I don't want to be a trouble. I'm just trying to take a trimming. That's all. You know, I'm not even trying to like steal your bush. I'm just trying to make a copy of it. That's what a clone is. It's like a copy of a plant. Oh yeah, no, I I get that, but I can't say yes or no. I would still have to send you to someone. It's like an MP3. It's like an MP3 of the bush. If your bush is a CD, it's like I'm making an MP3 out of your CD of a bush into it. I, I uh, MP3 that. of I, a bush, and then I'm gonna put it on my MP3 player, which is my yard. And then that when I then when I'm playing the song on the MP3 player, which is a copy of your CD that you guys like to play down there, which is by having the bush, I'll have the bush in my yard too. Okay. And we can both I, have it. 
Okay, I get that, but I can't say yes or no. I don't have the higher up authority. I would have to send you to someone else. I would just need prior approval. Thank you. Okay. So you can grant me that, please. Is this hold? Am I on hold now? Grocery department. Department or manager? Both. Oh, my God. Listen, all I'm trying to do is to take a trimming of your bushes and your landscapings out front. I don't see what the big fuss is. That girl up front got all flustered and she was cussing at me. Who was? I don't know her name. Tracy or something. Tiffany. Um. I'm just trying to take a tri- I'm a bot- I do botany for a hobby. Uh-huh. And I'm trying to make a clone of your bushes. You're just taking like a branch or something? I try to just need some prior approval. Okay. Um. And tell Tiffany to cool it. Okay. Um, let's see if I can find her. Do I have approval? Um. I'm just yeah, trying to make not... a. I'm just gonna make a clown. That's all. No big deal. No. No harm. No blood. No. No harm. No foul. Like yeah. they say in football. Yeah. No, you're good. Um. Would you like? Taking, like the whole... No, that's the whole point. I just need a, a trimmings. I need some trimmings. Okay, that's fine. And I'll sweep them up. Would that's you, would you like a copy? Would you like a copy of the bush for your own home? Oh, no. I'm As a present from me? Like for a thank you? That'd be a good present. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Go talk to Tiffany. Thank you. Okay. I love you. All right. I love you. I love you. Thank you for calling your house, Walmart. How can I help oh, you? Yeah. Um. Listen. Uh, I bought one of those uh, LED light bulbs from down there. What about LED light bulbs? I bought one, and I was trying to use it, and it's not like I, you know, cracked open the end, like when you heat, you know, when you put the stuff in it and you heat it up, but it kind of melted. It's it's not working. Um. So do you want to return it? Or am I allowed to oh. return it? I don't know, um, Elizabeth. There's gonna be your... there's gonna be residue. Um, can you help with this? Cause I don't know if this is a thing or not. There's gonna be some residue inside of it. Hello, this is customer service manager Elizabeth. Look at ID for you. Hi. Yeah. Uh. There's. Because I was saying there might be some residue inside of it. And I was. She's saying maybe I could return it. Oh, are you looking to return an item? Is that correct? Some light bulbs. Some They're light LED bulbs? light bulbs. They didn't. Well, yeah. Okay. Cause I, I tried to. You know, inside there be some residue inside. Okay. Do you still have the packaging of the light bulbs? Well, it's, yeah, I have it all okay. here. And you still have your receipt? Yeah. Okay. And did you purchase it within three months from now? Yeah, today. Oh, then yes. If you bring in your receipt and, and the packaging well, and everything. They're all broken and stuff. Like, say, so cracked open the ends. Yes. Yeah, if you have your okay. receipt and the packaging for your light bulbs, you can bring that all into customer service within 19 days, and we should be able to take care of you. It's just, you know, a little, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, right? I think so. You're saying that some are broken and there's residue inside the light bulbs, and you want to know you can return them? Because I was trying to, you know, smoke a little bit, like, out, out of the light bulb. Say that one more time. I was, you know, there's, a, you know, some stuff inside the light bulb. It's, you know, it's crystals. You found crystals inside the light bulb? No, I put them in, you know, because I was putting them in there. I had to crack open the light bulbs to, like, to use the light bulb, but, like, these light bulbs don't really work for that. They're all, like, kind of, like, melting and stuff from, like, the, like, you put the, the, the flame underneath it. Okay. And, you know, well, it didn't work. Like, I was trying to, you know, out of the light bulb, and 
it didn't work. Okay. So do you want to return it or exchange it for a different one? Am I allowed to bring it in? I mean, like, with the meth inside of it like that? You should be able to bring it in. Okay. As long as I can bring it in. Okay. Okay. Do you have regular light bulbs still? I believe we have regular light bulbs still. Okay. I'll try to find one of those. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for calling Community Big Lots. This is Jenna. How might I help you live big and save lots? What? Big live, big lives and save a lot? Big lots. What? What does How that mean? How might I help you live big and save lots? What does that mean? I don't know. It's what I was told to How, say. <laughs> what, do I, what do I live big about? Save, shouldn't I big lots and save big and save a lot? I don't even know. I'm so confused. <laughs> Listen, we have an issue. I was down there yesterday and I was doing some shopping and everything went well. You know, you were had a missing a couple items you were missing that I needed, but that's okay. It's not your fault. Um, when I got out to my car to go to drive home and I started it up, are you familiar with the check engine light on the dashboard? What? Sorry. You, you know the check engine light on the dashboard? Yeah. I'm wondering how's come after when I go into shop there, everything is fine. But then when I come out from there, now all of the sudden, just it's a big mystery now. My check engine light is coming on immediately. What's going on there? I have no clue. I'm just a little bit concerned. Everything was fine when I went into shop. I know I was in there for a while. Did you have one of your, your stock boys or your, your janitorials out there fiddling with my car, maybe? No. So it makes a noise now. The engine, it, it goes like a, like a, like that. I would not know. I waited 24 hours and it won't stop doing it. So that means because of the 24 hour rule, that means it's probably your fault. Um, so. I really have no clue to that. Okay, do you have your insurance policy there? Thank you. Because I'm going to have to take this down to a mechanic, and they're going to have to check the codes under the dashboard. That's not cheap. That's not cheap. That cost you 100 bucks right there. Let me transfer you over to a manager. Who is that? Who is the manager? Tiffany? Is Tiffany working? Is it Douglas? No. Who is it? Douglas is not worth it. Tiffany? Um, it depends on which one answers the phone. It might be Tiffany, though. I don't think we have a Tiffany that works here. Would Thank you like you. me to transfer you over? I'll take my chances. Thank you. Yeah. So do you want me to transfer you over or no? Yes, I'm hoping for Tiffany. All right. I'll transfer you right over. Thank you. Thank you for calling Microtail in for you. Speaking how I help you. Are you at the front desk? Uh, yes, I am. I'm up in the room. Um, I got, I went to the pet store and I got like four dozen, like it's like 50 crickets. Um, I was going to let them go up here in the room and then like um, hunt them down for fun. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be any fees associated with that? Um, not as long as you catch them all. So as long as I get all 50, <laughs> I'm good to go? Yeah, I mean... Uh, so that's the name of the I've game. I've never that's... had anybody ever in my life ask me that, but uh, I mean... Well, I you know, know, okay, you know how, like, when you got 
like bugs at your house help. It's not. It's never fun. It's always a bad time, right? But just can you imagine <laughs> how much fun it would be to just go around and just hunt them down and kill them when it's not really your problem? You know what I mean? I guess. So it's yeah. It's like hunting, but on the inside. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been cruel to. I don't like to kill anything. Oh, well, they're just bugs. They're just little. Yeah, yeah. They're just like they're little aliens. They're little tiny uh, yeah, yeah. with the exoskeletons and everything like yeah. that. And they, oh, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, uh-huh. some of them have a book lung. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right. So, uh, bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. Uh-huh. Hello. Hi. Me and my friend were uh, here for the night. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm sorry, man. Um, well... So, uh, we're going to invite it to a party. Okay. Yeah. And, um, there was this older gentleman there. And, um, am, am I talking to the right person? Um, you're talking to the front desk at the Microtel. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, this is his hotel room. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Well, this was his hotel room, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm very anxious. Um, you're needing to be transferred to someone's room? No, uh, my friend and I were here at, at this gentleman's room. Uh-huh. And uh, he suffered from some health problems. In the room. And I'm just calling the front desk. Like, I don't know who to talk to. Okay. But I don't I don't know how to tell you this. Okay. You can just let me know because so I can help whatever situation that you have. He closed his eyes while we were there. Uh-huh. Um... He hasn't opened his eyes again yet. Let's tell her it's a weekend at Bernie's type show. She'll understand. Okay. I heard the person in the background. Uh, what room are you talking about? I'm in the bathroom. No, I, hello, ma'am? Hi, yes. I think he's scared. He went in the bathroom. Um, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a weekend at Bernie's type situation. I just want to be clear. We're not at the. We're not there right now, but we have... Okay. Let's call him Bernie, okay? Okay. Um, and, you know, I've watched that movie a lot of times. I feel like there had to be a, at least a few people that were kind of like in on it. You know what I mean? To make the whole yeah. magic work with Bernie and the sunglasses and the strings and everything. I just kind of yeah. just wanted to make sure that you guys would be cool and that you'll you'll go along with it. Oh, okay. He, he hasn't. It's all, it's all good like that. You know, like there's nothing to worry about. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> This, okay. I'm just scared. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what, 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 if you could uh, help us. He's not. Bernie, the Bernie, it's just a situation. It's just a weekend at Bernie's situation. Right. I'm not Bernie. He's not Bernie, and Bernie's not dead, so there's nothing to worry about. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. Y'all are fine as long as everyone's good or no one's. We don't need you coming over and, and lifting up his sunglasses and asking him if he's okay if he's not moving too much. That's all. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. You're welcome. I love you. Bye. Speedway 8023. This is Robin. How may I help you? Hey, Robbie. I am so sorry to embarrass you, but do you sell condoms and, and prophylactics there? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, here's what's, what's up, because it's not for me. It's for my son, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring him in there, and is it okay if we just hang out, hang out kind of, and wait until we can watch someone else purchasing the prophylactics? Speedway 8024, this is Ashley. Would it be okay if I came down and kind of like swept up the parking lot a little bit? Um, for the purpose of what? Well, uh, would I be able to keep everything I swept up? Um, I don't know. 
hang on, let me go ask somebody. Well, I mean, I Not figure it'd be cleaning, you know, it'd be a good thing. Right? Right? Um, I don't... You, I know. Hold on. Let me ask somebody else. Yeah. What's yeah? What 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 could be wrong? Like what could be bad about this? Like everybody wins. I can get some treasures, and you get a clean parking lot. Hang on, just a second. What 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 are you what are you what are you I, doing? Because I, I have to I have to ask my boss. Why? It's just a. I don't. I don't know. Can you explain? Hello. Yeah, I can't do that. No, I'm going to do it. I know, but I can't give you permission to do it. Like, because how, we have people you... that that do, that no. do that, that get paid for it. What do you mean? No, it's just, I just need, you know, I could just, I could do it, though. I'm not really, sh I'm not really following you. I'm, that's what I'm, my problem is. Um, so I cannot give you permission because I don't own the store, and we have people that come out and do that, that get paid for that, so I cannot give you permission to do that. I don't, would you, to sweep? I'm just doing some cleaning, like with a broom. Okay, so if you want, you can call back tomorrow in the morning, and the big boss will be here, and maybe she can give you a better explanation. I'm just telling I'd you, I'm not sweep. allowed to give you permission. I just would rather sweep tonight, though, is my thing. Like, I just, you know, can I just get in, get out, get it done? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm giving you what I was told my answer, so. How do you, why? Okay. Who told you no? Speedway, this is Christy. Hey, Christy. Um, I had a, a special request for science for you. Would it be okay if I swept up, like, out in front of the pumps and in front of the store and stuff and then, like, kept the sweepings to take a sample? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to sweep up in the parking lot and, and then um, collect the sweepings and save them for myself. I guess. I was going to do some science experiments on it. Okay. Is that Okay. Yeah, I've never had anybody ask me that, but well, I'd, okay. Well, I called the other one. I called 8024, and they told me they would call the police on me. Uh, so I'm just calling all the speedways to see who's going to let me take sweepings like that. I don't want any trouble with the police. I don't want them interfering with my experiments. Oh, well. I mean, if one says no, then I would have to say no. That's not fair, but if one says yes, then you should call her and tell her over there to stop being such a sourpuss and to let me take some sweepings. Well... She said that they have someone that they pay to do that, and that if I take his job, he'll be mad and he'll want to fight me or something. I don't know. I mean, we sweep our own parking lots. Well, so. can I have the sweepings then? Where do you put them? What? In the dumpster? Can I get them out? I'm trying to take samples of all the sweepings from all the different speedways, and then I'm going to run tests on them and compare them. No, I can't let you get in the dumpsters. Why not? They're all in, like, bags. That's not fair. Why would you put them in bags? That's not fair at all. Well, I'm sorry. And I'm allowed to go in there. If a raccoon can go in the dumpster, a person can go in there, too. So it's the order of okay. nature, ma'am. <clears throat> okay, well. There's, that, ma no, there. there's nothing that a raccoon can do that a human can't do. It's the order of nature. Okay. I so, got to get off don't tell so me. Work. Well, no, don't tell me that you got to get off or nothing because you don't have to do work. You're talking to me on the phone about a raccoon in the dumpster. <clears throat> Hello. Hi, how are you? Yes. Uh, has Clem been down there yet? I Lady think... wearing a hat. Hello. Has Clem been down there yet? Lady with a hat. I don't know what you're talking about. She's going to have a raccoon with her for the raccoon kissing ceremony we have up here. I did not get what you what you what you're talking about. I don't I'm talking about a lady coming down there to come up here with a raccoon. I don't know who. Which lady are you talking about? Her name's I'm Clementine. She's wearing a hat. And I'm asking you if she's been down there yet. Nobody is here. So she hasn't been down there yet? Nobody is in the front desk. 
Then what are you? Are you the front desk or a front desk? No, I'm in the front desk. Nobody's in the lobby, what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Well, you keep saying there's nobody in the front desk. No, no, sorry. <laughs> nobody's in the lobby. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have that established. So if she comes down there, I need you to send her up here to the second floor. What's the room number? Uh, just the second floor. The door will be open for her. Oh, no. What are you talking about? You She's going to have a red string around the collar of the raccoon, and they'll be walking in. Oh, nobody's walking in. They're not there yet. They'll be there, though. They will be. You, sir? She's going no, to be there soon? No. You have to use your room. Yes, sir. What? We yes, can sir. use yeah, we can use the restroom down there. We don't need a room? No. I am talking about the restroom. I don't... I'm asking down, do you have any restrooms? Somebody is in the front desk. Well, I wasn't... In the lobby. Restaurants? We have restaurants here? Restaurants? I, I don't know which restaurant is famous here. Yeah, I don't know. You guys have a restaurant there? No. Uh, I thought that's what you were saying. I'm having a lot of trouble following here. So she hasn't been down there? Nobody has down been here, sir. From which room number are you calling? I'm not calling the room. I'm calling you, the front desk. I'm I'm asking uh, which uh, where 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 whom do you need exactly I need the no name right to whom I just I need to... Clementine to come up here with the raccoon for the raccoon kissing ceremony. I don't understand, sir. I'm sorry. You just need to send her up to the second floor. She'll give you a code word. It should be pool noodles, I think. I don't know whom you are talking about. She Nobody... she hasn't. Been, she'll be the one lady with the hat. And the red string around the raccoon with a raccoon. Excuse me, She's, sir. Uh, Nobody is here. Like, whom you need? You She'll be there. About something. I okay. need you to send her. I think you need to talk to my buddy Carl here. Yeah, excuse me. Yes? All right, so you understand the raccoon policy here. Raccoon policy? The. Sir, you understand what a raccoon is? No, I don't understand. Um, so a raccoon is... Uh, excuse me, forgive me for not introducing myself. Hello. Uh, my name... Uh, hello. Yes. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Sam. Uh, thank you, Sam. All right. All right, Sam, my name is George. How can I help you? Hey. Uh... I'm, I'm trying to understand, uh, so my client here has uh, an animal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Are, okay. are you are you familiar with raccoons? This is the mortal friend desk, sir. Where are you called? Why, what's the reason? And, uh, no, sir, no. From us. How can I help you? <laughs> hey, man, believe me, I'm exhausted as you are. I... <laughs> I didn't get you, sir. Hey, I'm I'm as exhausted as you are right now. I'm just trying to get through this. Okay. Hey, I am an attorney. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, my client is inquiring about. Um, uh, generally, your your hotel's policy regarding wildlife. Man, it's it's too late for me as well. I, no, I don't want to hear it. Sir, one second. If you want any details, call tomorrow morning after 7 o'clock. The manager will be here. He can answer you. Well, hey, hey, I have a really quick one now. Yes. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so uh, my client has an animal in the hotel. Mm -hmm. And it... <laughs> He keeps telling me it's a cat. I don't think it's a cat. So. Brian, can you help me? Hey, yeah, I need to have one of those private rooms, please. Private room? I mean, like jacuzzi? No, no, like off to the side, like, uh, like a secret room. No, no, Special, no, no. you know. Oh, yeah, I don't want anybody to, you know... Is it hidden? No, no, no. Like a hidden room. 
no, what do you mean? No, no, no. The, no, yeah, yeah. Just don't. You're one of the. You know, just don't. You know, quiet. You know, like private. Private? No, sir. We don't have that kind of. Problem. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, you do. Private. We have private room. You said like you don't want any noise. Like sometimes no. when guests come and go, there's gonna be some noise, right? No, no, no. The private rooms. You get what I'm saying? No, sir. I didn't get you. Yeah. No, no, just, you know, when it's, you know, it's hush-hush like that. Just don't say anything. I want one of those rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, no, sir. We don't have that. Do I, come on, how much do I got to pay you? No, seriously. We, we got normal rooms. We got to work something. No, hang on. Let's work something out here. Come on. Don't, don't. Come on. Come on now. No, we don't have that kind of room. But if you want, we have normal two, two, uh, two cash. bedroom. Cash, cash. No, we don't cash. accept cash, sir. We no, accept only cash. cash. No cash. No. Cash money for the private room. No, sir. We don't have. We don't accept yeah, cash. Yeah, no for the private room, not the regular, not the hotel room. I want the private room. No, we don't have private room here, sir. Yes, you do. Come on, don't stop messing with me, man. Come on, just no, don't be like that. We we don't have yeah. that kind of room. Oh sir. no, no, the private room. No, sir, we don't have. The private, please, just I have the cash. Come on, but what? Why are we talking like this still? Can't you just come on? Boop boop. Is it a boop boop? I'm calling Sprouts Bray. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Um, I've got my son for the weekend from the divorce and my ex-wife. And he is learning about crickets for science. I was hoping I went to the pet store and I got like a half dozen of them. Would it be okay if I let a few of them go there in the store so my son would be able to see one in the wild? No, it wouldn't be. Just they're harmless crickets. They're just house crickets. They're totally harmless. Yeah, okay. No, we, we, we wouldn't allow that. Thank I you. I only got about a dozen or so. Just... Sprouts, let me help you. Sprouts, um, I'm trying to like take my car down there and like kind of like rub it up on the curbs a little bit. Like, are they really tall curbs or are they kind of sh like little short curbs? Wait, wait a minute. You say you're trying to order? No, like like rub the yeah my my tires and like the car, like I'm trying to like bang it up on the curbs a little like in the parking lot. Why? To, just to rough them up a little bit, just to kind of smash it up underneath a little bit. Uh, okay. Is this a joke? Oh no, I, I have to prove a point to somebody, and it's well because it's my car, but it's. It's their fault. They're being an asshole about it. So I'm gonna. It's my fucking car, and if I want to smash it up a little bit, it's my prerogative. I'm asking them about your curbs. Oh, okay. Yeah, you you go ahead and do you. Thank you for calling Sprouts and Citrus Heights. How may I direct your call today? Um, who do you would you say is the most popular employee? The if most I could, popular. If I could speak with them, please. Yes. All right. Let me patch you through. Thank you for calling Sprouts and Tater Sites. This is Dan, the manager on duty. How may I help you? Are you the most popular? Um, I guess so. That's I, that, I'd ask to speak with the most popular employee. Are you the manager? Um, that would be me. Are you the yes, manager? Yes, I am. Okay, I doubt you're the most yes, popular employee then. Well, I get, I get called all over the place. Huh. Doesn't mean I'm, people like, like you, the though. One, um... Well, I, yeah, I'm, I, I don't want a two bay on the horn, but I'd say I'm pretty well liked. <laughs> Seems a little arrogant. Um, I'm just looking for, um, is it okay if when I come down there, if I'm in the bathroom, wh at what point, where, in relation to the toilet, like what what is the distance away from it that I'm allowed to like take my penis out in the bathroom? Um, definitely in the stall. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. This is, uh, see, this is why I wanted to speak to someone a little bit more popular than the manager. So you don't have any idea. Um, okay, well, uh, you have a good day, sir. I'm not trying to cause trouble. I'm not trying to get in, in anyone's indecencies or anything like that. I want to just know what the appropriate distance from the receptacle is. To remove my genitals from my, my trousers. 
I'm definitely in the stall when the stall door is locked. I don't. What if, oh, Lord? What if I'm going to use the urinal? Uh, well, definitely like in foot, the urinal, two, like two feet, three feet, two feet. What? I guess so. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for, sir. I'm looking for an exact answer from a popular employee. Okay. So why are you asking that? I because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> uh, okay. It's the opposite of causing yeah, a guess... problem. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah. Uh, do you know the Bible? Are I you familiar guess... with the Bible? Uh, no. Have you heard of Jesus? Yes. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, what? Like Jesus from the Bible. You know? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, you have a good day. And like Jesus would say, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no. No. Sinclair, my how can I help you? Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm not doing so well. Um, I'm I've, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of bad luck. I... My wife had left because I'd been uh, drinking a little bit, and, and she took the kids with her. Um, if I come down there, is there a way that I could, like, uh, do something that would get me arrested? I'm trying to hit rock bottom. Um, I need, like, a wake-up call or, like, a restart for my life or something. I, I don't want to cause any trouble. I don't want anybody – I'm not trying to, you know, get anybody freaked out or anything. You know, I don't – I don't want to do anything negative, yeah. but I think it would help me a lot if I could just come down there and get arrested. Um, I'm not sure. Let me um, give me just a moment, okay? Well, I don't. No, I don't want. I don't want to cause a lot of trouble about this. So, like, if you could just no. tell me, if you could just tell me what to do, I'd be glad to come down there and do it. Like, what? If because I, I don't really want. I I'm not morally. I don't really want to steal. I know that yeah. that would be a popular way for you guys to, you know, catch me doing something and, and get me arrested. But I really don't want to do that to you. Um, I was thinking maybe I could come down and, like, urinate in public or something. Would you call the police cool. on me for that? Yeah, we have a couple people that have done that. If you okay. do it, like, on the side of the building. Okay. We have some people that will definitely call Are the cops. Okay, good, good, good. Are there cameras or something? Or would I have to come in and um, let you know that I did it? There, uh, no, there, there's not any cameras. Okay. Is there something else that you'd like me to do? I really, I really don't know. Um, we, because we don't have a lot of trouble at this location. Right. I'm not. I don't want to cause trouble. I just want to like yeah. technically break the law so I could get arrested a little bit. Um, if I come in now, I, this would only be with your permission, because you know I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be like a creep or anything. But with your permission, could I I could say sexual things to you while other people are watching, and they could they could take me away for that, if that would be okay with you. That would be a thing. Oh, I don't know. No, Snappy wants one. Yeah, I'm trying to see uh, what kind of the shopping cart situation you got for the parking lot. Um, what do you mean? Like, how many shopping carts we have? No, I mean, like, are they like the metal shopping carts? Like, you bring what them in that? the parking lot? The metal, the metal shopping carts. Oh, yeah, we have metal shopping carts. Yeah, do you bring them outside? Do we bring them outside? Yeah, you could bring them no, outside. I bring them outside, yeah, I'm going to smash yeah. it up into the car a little bit. Alrighty. That's good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, bye. That's all. I mean, yeah, see, why are you making it so weird like that? I just didn't know what you were saying. That's why. Well, I was pretty straightforward about the whole thing, and then you're just kind of, uh, uh, like, you know, like you that. Like, I like, don't... You were... I'm sorry. I'm smashing I'm it up. I'm going to take the car. I got to smash. And no, my car. Oh. I'm going to smash up the car with the shopping cart. Why would you want to smash your car with the shopping cart? Well, it's my car. I mean, go and for I don't it. care. I don't care what anything that she has to say about it. It car is in my name. So if I want to take the shopping cart and smash it up into my car... 
it's my it's my right as an American. I mean, go for it, for sure. See, that's yeah. Do you understand? Like, see, that's why you're all we were all like eh, like that before, and it was weird. So sorry, I made that weird. I was really confused. It was awkward. It wasn't even that weird. It was just kind of awkward. I apologize. I'm an awkward human being. Oh no, I apologize because I maybe I explained it wrong. Alrighty. Well, if you want to come smash your car with the cart, go for it. All right. Thank you. I love you too. Okay. Bye. Cross Coast City. Hey, I had a question for you. Mhm. Um, I'm going to be meeting a stranger from Craigslist out in your guys' parking lot. I've done it before. It wasn't an issue. Um, I just wanted to know this time, um, this me and the stranger, we're going to be kissing. And I just wanted to make sure that that's not a problem with anything. It shouldn't be a problem. Well, I don't want you guys to think that it's like prostitution or anything. There's not going to be anything more sexual than just mouth kissing. If you meet somebody, that's, that's, that's your personal business, brother. Well, yeah, it's not just someone I met, though. I'm paying them from Craigslist to come and kiss me. So, and I don't, well, I don't know, who, I don't know who it is. Young, young, old, black, white man, woman. It could be anything. Okay, you good to go, brother. We got cameras I out can, there anyway. I so I can kiss anyone who shows up on camera. Okay. Frost Coast City. Frost Hi, City. I was at the store. Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Hello. Okay, Loud and good. Clear. I was at your store. Okay, okay. I was at your store earlier mm-hmm. today, and one mm-hmm. of your employees gave me a shove right in my cesarean section scar. What? Well, I was provoking him. It was my fault, but he gave me a shove, and it was... Um, can, can I be honest with you, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, he, he knocked me over, and he, he started tickling me. Started what? It was a very strange situation. What time was this? I'm sorry, what? What time was this? This is about an hour and a half ago. Hmm? I just got to a phone now. This was about an hour and a half ago. I just okay, got hold, my phone okay, now. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on. Uh, I'm sorry. You said about an hour ago? Uh-huh. About an hour and a half ago. Okay. So the, I'm looking at the schedule right now. Was it, where, can you tell me what location it was? It was about, I was looking at some of the meats. The meat. Meat department? Meat. Meat. Okay. Meat. Okay, we got got two females over there right now. Hmm, there wasn't a gentleman passing by? No, so we got, right now in the meat department, we got two females right now. That seems sexist. That's sexist. Okay. Well, I'm going to go check it out over there, because right now I see two females over there right now, so I'll I'll go investigate right now for you. Uh, please hurry up. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hi, thank you for calling us first in Dublin. Oh, first of all, take me off speakerphone right goddamn now. Excuse me? Take me off of goddamn speakerphone. That is so rude. Have some manners, please. Okay, how can I help you? Am I off of the speakerphone? It still sounds like crap. Hello? There you go. So why were you lying to me the first time you said you took it off of speakerphone? It was a lie. I did take it off of a speaker, but for some reason... It didn't work. Listen, who's the nice young man boy with the brown hair? I can't find him on Facebook or anything. I'm sorry? The man who works there. He's a nice young man boy. He's got the brown hair. I don't know who you're talking about. I can't find him on Facebook. Then I don't know what I can do for you. Okay, I'm trying. Can you can you page him? Who is this? My name is Earl. I'm sorry. My name is George. Okay. My name is Mike. Ma'am. Hello. Hi. Who is this? This is Ooh. Eddie. Who is this? This is Eddie. Yeah. Who's this? I'm Teddy. One of the court managers. 
I'm Teddy. You're a, you're a corp. You're a court manager. Yeah. Okay. What can I do for you? There's a man who works down there, and he's always so helpful towards me. One time he helped me tie my shoes. Another time I had lost a quarter, and he helped me locate it. It, it had fallen underneath, and he helped me to reach it. And I've been looking and looking and looking because I wanted to send him some points from Farmville on uh, Facebook. And I can't seem to locate his profile. And I was just looking for some assistance from you guys. That I can't give. I, I can't need give it. No, I need it. No, I need I, it. it well, no, sir. If you give me one quick second. Give me one quick I, second. I, sir, I don't have an option here. I have no choice. Well, it's not that I can get personal information. It's, you have to. It's You're going to have to, though, is the thing. I said I can't. I said no, no, no. I can't take no for an answer. No, I can't. No. Well, you're going to have to take it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I refuse. If you, if you have a problem with that, you can go to our corporate because we can't give any information about any personal information about any of our employees. Rather than doing that, how about this? Can I challenge you to like a fist fight? Like a respectful, but like a fist, like an actual fist fight to settle this. A what? Can I fight you to settle this? No, you definitely can't. Well, it's a request. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to attack you or anything if you don't agree to it. Oh, I definitely don't want to do that. Okay. All right, then, you know. I my job. Well, oh, we can wait until you clock out or, or or you can get it cleared through corporate. I thought you were a corporate manager or something. I thought you could get that no, cleared. No, I'm not a corporate manager. I'm just, if you... I'm just one of the managers that works here. I just thought, because we have this disagreement and I thought that would be one way to settle it. You know, if you're willing to do it, I would I would be willing to settle it by combat. Well, that's definitely not an option. Okay. Then how about this? Listen, I'll just come down there and I'll just grab a handful and we'll call it even, okay? A handful? Yeah. A handful of what? Just whatever. Whatever fits. No, I, well, I can have a police officer wait outside for you. Well, I can call a police officer to escort me down there as a, as a peace officer if you want that. Yeah, if you want that. Okay. So you call your police and have them waiting, and I'll call one to have me escorted down there because I'll tell them that you're being harassive towards me, okay? No, you definitely can do that. And then what we'll do is we'll see if the two officers know each other. Um, they might. Yeah, I bet you they do. They probably work, I assume, at the same shift a lot of the time. I'm pretty sure. If they're and, then maybe, and then maybe we won't even have to – they can just settle it themselves oh, exactly. th- that way. So then that'll work. Okay, um, non-emergency, though. Make sure you're not tying up any resources. That's someone called non-emergency, and you can do as well, okay? Okay. Oh, you know what? You call the police, I'll call the sheriff. How about that? Either way, you would... Then that way, they probably won't know each other. It'll be more interesting. Exactly. All right, thank you. No problem. You have a wonderful day. I, I, I love you, too. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling Sprouts. My name is Joe. How can I help you? Joe, is, was there the old guy in this store just recently? I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, standing, I'm standing right next to a big fan here. The old what guy. Is, okay. You're looking for an old guy? Yeah. Did he come by? Uh, No. Not that I'm aware of. No, I mean the old guy. He had the gray hair. He was an old, like an old guy. Mm-mm. I haven't seen him. He would have been carrying like a cane. He's very yeah. old. No, I haven't. Have seen you seen like him? That. He's very old, and he was carrying a cane. He should have been coming through the store. You have not seen the old guy. I have not. I can I can transfer you up front and see if anybody else. Is oh, hey, hey, he was he was crying a little bit. He looks what? He was an up. He was upset. He was an upset old guy. Yeah, yeah we're okay. trying to figure yeah. out. Yeah. Where did he go? I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen him. Ah, shit. Um, you, I who, can transfer you up front to see if to anybody else front? has seen him. Uh, let me get you somebody up front. Who is, the, is this around back? Thank you for calling Sprouts and also home. This is Vana. How can I help you? I was being transferred because maybe you would know where the old guy was. What's that? No, the old guy. The old guy? He yeah. was kind of sad. He was carrying a cane. Um, I do not see one. He didn't okay. come by. He hasn't the come old to guy? the front yet. No, not yet. Ah, uh, shit. Um, you haven't. You don't know where he's at. Like he haven't. Like he's very old. I'm not um, seeing one over here. He's got I... gray hair. Mm-hmm. He has a cane. He might be yelling and stuff. 
he's in, he's very old. The old guy is my grandfather, but I'm I'm trying to find him. He's uh, not up here right now. I can just do a quick look around the store to see if he's here. Yeah, yeah. See, see if you can find the old guy. I want. We need to talk to him. Okay. I'm you don't like I'm cell phones, to... ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. I'm also here, um, and okay. I, I don't think he should do it. Well, I'm not seeing him up here, so. Um, no, the old guy. He shouldn't yeah. do it. But he's, he's okay. there. No, he, you know, he shouldn't do it. Tell him no. Shouldn't Just tell him okay. no. Stop it. Okay. Just tell him to get out of here. He stop it. Okay, I don't see him. Ma'am, so don't. If I see him, I'll ma'am, you know. don't tell him. Don't let us know. Don't. Please do help me. Okay. Please help me. Stop telling me things. Stop no, telling me to do things. Help me. I. Lady. Yeah. Hello? If you could find the old man. Oh, you just found him. Put him on the phone, please. No. He's not here. I don't see one. Can you ping him? I don't see any. On the computer. So I... Can you use the computer? Can you ping him? I can't. Just send out a ping. I don't know old, what you mean. The old, like using the computer. You know how you have a computer there? We don't. Okay. Do you know what a USB is? We don't have anything. That do you know do. what a USB is? I do know what a USB is. Okay, then just ping the like old that, man. Though. Ping the old man. Ping him. Hi, thank you for calling Spots Milk Grove. Can I help you? Yeah, is there an old man that I could talk to? Excuse me, or what? An old man. Uh, what do you mean by an old man? Like a well, I just or? no, just an old person, like a, an elderly gentleman. I just think that they'd have a lot of good like life experiences that they would might be able to share, and they would appreciate the opportunity to socialize. We don't have any older people that work here. It's mostly oh, it doesn't have to be an employee, like any anyone in there. Okay, one second. Let me. The shopper. No, no, please don't. Please don't. I'm scared. Please don't. Okay, oh, one second. Okay. I had no. Please don't. Please don't. Don't trick me like this. Don't do it. It freaks okay, me out. Second. Whenever. No, it freaks me out. No, it freaks me out. I get scared. I get scared. Angela, can you do me like a big favor and go on the phone with this guy? Don't don't Hi. put me on hold. She was trying to put me on hold, and that freaks me out. Oh no, um, sir, she is not putting on hold. She was trying to. She is counting for she money, to, and uh, she will she be trying, in a second, okay? She was trying to put me on hold. Listen, okay, I just need to talk to an old man, please. Um, an old man? Yeah, anyone will do. Um. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. What about the? Uh, wait. Wait. Hold on. Time out. Time out. How old are you? I'm um 17, sir. Yeah, that's not an old man, no. I'm no because we're she's counting the money. She'll be with you right in a second. Well, I don't want to talk. It's she, how old is she? No, hello, sir. How old is sir, she? She's she's 20. Oh, that's a closer, but still, that's not not an old man. Okay, um, one. Uh, did you have any questions about the store or not? I have I have a question. I, I have a question about the store, please. Okay, what is it? May I speak to an old man? Okay, one second. Okay, I have to transfer listen, you to someone, listen. okay? Listen, listen. Is it an old man that you're going to transfer me to? Thank you for calling Sprouts and Sanitas. How may I help you? Hello. Sprouts and Sanitas. Hello. Yes, Hi. can you hear me? Hi. Yeah. Do you have a Do you have a cakery over there? No. Oh, how do you, uh, what's, what you got for sweets? Like for the, do you have any of the baked goods? We have cookies and we have cupcakes. And there's like little tiny cakes. Some of them are vegan, but they're not our brand. They're just stuff that we carry. But, but there's still cakes though, right? Yeah, but not a full cake like you would get at a grocery store, like for someone's oh, birthday. They're little oh, tiny cakes. Okay. okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I'll get a bunch of them and I'll put them together. Do you do any decorations? Do you have any decorations no. in the store? Any nope. at all? Nope. Any cake? You might all try, right, so. No. You might try Ralph. Ralph. Can yeah, you put Ralph on? Gone. I'd <laughs> like to speak to Ralph. He's not here. You have to call his store. Okay, I'll wait for Ralph. Okay. Thank you.
Uh-huh. Have a good day. I'll wait for Ralph. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Thank you. I don't think she's coming back. Ralph Escondido, how can I help you? Or am I on speakerphone? Hi, how can I help you? What are you doing, counting money? Who is this? Why would you put me on speakerphone? Are you counting money or something? Who is this? I'm just wondering. Why not? Well, I just, that would be a good reason to put me on speakerphone, I guess. All right. How can I help you? Okay, I was wondering, who's in charge of the grounds? Right now, currently, I am. Okay, I had found an interesting rock outside, and I had taken it home in a further examination. I'm not sure if it's like a fossil or some type of an imprintation on it, and I was wondering who I could discuss, like maybe dating it or what the species may be. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about that. Okay, and you say you're in charge of the grounds, but you can't even handle a simple rock? A rock? Yes, sir. I don't know how to go back and date it. I'm not. I'm not sure. Well, what do we get? What do we? How do I identify? How do I identify it? I don't know. You can tell me. Okay. You're supposed to be in charge of the rocks and the grounds and and, and everything down there and counting money. Okay. And then you're telling me you don't even know how to identify a rock. Igneous, uh, mor- morpheus, um, and uh, deciduous are the okay. three kinds, and we have to identify it. Okay. Thank you. Nimbus. Thank you. Nimbus. Transformers Market in Fremont. This is Brianna. Oh. How can I help you? Okay. Um, I'm sorry to be in trouble. I was down there earlier, um, maybe two, three hours ago. It's hard to say. While I was down there, I was struck in the back of the head pretty hard by an object, and I, I believe that I was knocked out for a few minutes maybe longer. It's really hard to say. Everything's been kind of fuzzy. But um, I'm just wondering, number one, do you have any idea what had hit? Because when I came to, I just got the hell out of there because I didn't know what was going on. Um, I was confused. And now I'm starting to piece it together and I'm realizing that I must have been hit in the head. And I'm wondering what had hit me like that. Um, was it inside the store or in the parking I, lot? I don't, I, I feel like I was inside. I do feel like I was inside the store, but I came to outside in the grass. Um, do you mind if I put you on hold and I let would, my, I uh, would store mind manager just because she can look at the... I do. I wouldn't mind just because I think that there's a chance that I have a concussion, and I just don't want any. My doctors, you know, they always say don't, don't. If you have a concussion, don't go to sleep. Don't go. Don't put on hold. They always say. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm, not, um, I'm not trying to ruffle up no one's feathers about this. It's just. Oh no, I, no! 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 I keep a blog, and I'm trying to be accurate for when I'm writing in my blog, and I just like to know what hit me in the head. Um. Unfortunately, I can't access the security cameras, which is why I would suggest talking to my supervisor. Oh, nor supervisor. would I ask she you can... to. I, I wouldn't ask anyone to access the, the security cameras. This isn't a security issue. This is an issue of me getting hit in the head by something pretty hard down there. Oh, no, I know. It's just what they can see what, if if you are on the camera, they can see what hit you in the head. That way you know, unfortunately. Okay, well, I don't, I don't authorize that. I'd like to not authorize that. Okay, um, unfortunately, um... Personally, I wasn't there when the event happened, so unfortunately, I don't really have much of okay. an idea what could have hit you in the head. How about this? Just a hypothetical. Um, just to get the ball rolling, what if I go down to the police station and I tell them that it was one of the employees that had hit me? Um, well, that would be good. Um, well, then that'll just get the ball rolling and they can do some investigating. We'll get to the bottom of this. What was your um, name? What was your name? My name was... It was Brianna. Brianna. I can tell him that Brianna had hit me. Um, well, I, I can assure you it wasn't me. <laughs> well, I know. I'm just saying that. And, you know, when the evidence comes out, that'll make sure that you're, you're cleared and everything. But just to start the, start everything up, I'll tell him that, yeah, you had probably hit me. Um, if, is it okay to ask if you do not use my name? Well, I'm just, um, cause it's, it's, no, because I mean... It I'm, makes me a little uncomfortable. Right. I'm falsely implicating you, yeah. 
um, maybe to say, maybe I would just maybe suggest you suspect that maybe someone had maybe, hit you in the back okay. of the head. Maybe. I'll just say that I suspect that maybe she hit me in the head. Maybe Brianna had hit me in the head. Maybe. But not um, for sure. Is it, is it possible not maybe sure. use a different name? Like what? Whose name should I use? Um, I'm not what? sure. Maybe just whatever comes to your head. Um, Brian. Brian. Is there a Brian? Because that's kind of close, you know. Um, y- yeah, whatever you feel is best. I'm not who's too a man? sure what to... Well, I don't, well, I'm a man or a woman, just or anyone down there who, who's, whose name you can think of that I could blame for hitting me. Um, unfortunately, I can't really provide Tony? you with that information. Is there a Tony? Is there a Tony? Or a Steve, maybe? I, I can't really oh, provide oh, that information. Oh, can I talk to Doug? Can I speak to Doug? I'll tell the cops that Doug hit me. There's a Doug who works here? Perfect. So Doug hit me. Um, if that makes you feel more comfortable. Well, it would. I, I mean, you know, it'd be I'd falsely. It'd be false. But I'm, it'd be a false police report that I'll file about you. Or Doug. Um, all right. Just to, you know, just to, just to get the ball rolling. And then we'll figure it all out from there. Okay. Can I tell them that you had been talking? I had heard you talking with Doug before you hit me. Just um, to get you, just to I, get you, I just want to get you mixed up in it a little. Um, I would respectfully ask you not to do that, just because. Sec- did you it, say you'd sexually ask me not to? I'm just respectfully asking oh, you re- not to use my name. Respectfully, I thought you said you were sexually asking me not to, and I would say okay to that. No. Um. Yeah, I respectfully, I decline. I'd like to get you mixed up in this for just for good measure. Um, yeah, thank you. I respectfully ask you not to use my name. Okay, thank you. Okay, Th- um, thank is you. that I love all? You. Is what? that all I can help you with today, or? Um, where's that manager? The the hair. Um, do you mind if I put you on hold and I? Yes, I mind a lot. Manager? I mind a lot. Thank um, because I'm not too sure where she is right now, and I'd have to put you on hold in order to go get her for you. Will you do me a favor? Will you just write it down for me? Um, write what down, if I can ask? All of it. Do you mind if I get your name and your phone number? Um, you can have one or the other. All right. Um, how about your phone number, if you're okay with that? Yeah. Um... Did you want to read your your number to me? I I have paper and pen ready. Oh, so you'll write it down? Yes, I, I have the ability to write it down if you like. Thank you. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, I'm ready. Just let me know. I'm ready. Okay, go. Uh, what is your area code? Six. Oh, you want the whole thing? Okay, hold on. Let's see. All right, let's see. Let's. I have to go into things. <laughs> Okay. All right. The first number is six. Okay. The last number is nine. The okay. fourth number. The fourth number is eight. The, okay. The seventh Shemaya. number is five. Shamaya. Can you get my net, please? The second number is one. Okay. The third number is nine. What do you have? What do you have so far? I have six one nine, and then the last number is nine. That's it. Yes, it's been a little noisy in here. Well, I'm not gonna go back and repeat all the other clues. Um. All right, then I guess I'll just stick with what I have. Thank you. Nine. Nine's pretty good. You know the area code, and you got a nine. Yeah. You're, you're mostly there. Sexually. Um, do you mind if I step right back? I just need to get another piece I of paper. I do. I mind a lot. I'll flip out and I'll start pooping. I have to go. Um, okay. I love you. I'll buy you a birthday present when the time comes. Um, okay. um sure. Have a good oh, day, sir. Oh, a unicorn. Goodbye. <laughs> 